Disclaimer. The subject matter has been produced using AI technology and can in no way be employed as fact. The AI works on articles and blogs, so may only be deemed as what others believe, not necessarily the editor of this video. This video is in no way intended as fact or intended to cause undue stress, only for entertainment value. The disclaimer is produced by Tony of Tony's Music. Thank you. The double-decker bus has become a popular form of transport for many people who are looking to get from A to B. There are now over 3,000 double-decker buses in operation around the world and the number is growing by the day. There are a number of reasons why this form of public transport has become so popular. For one thing, it is more spacious than a regular bus. This means that there is more room inside for passengers and therefore they can be more comfortable while traveling. Another reason is that it is a lot cheaper than other forms of public transport, such as trains and underground. The price of a ticket for a double-decker bus can be anywhere between £1 and £5 depending on where you live and how far you want to travel. This is much cheaper than a train ticket, which can cost up to £50, and an underground ticket, which can cost up to a whopping £7.50. Another reason why the double-decker bus is becoming more popular is because of the number of different companies operating them. Many cities now have several companies operating double-decker buses. This means that you can choose to travel with one company if you wish or you can take advantage of the competition and travel with another company if you want to save money. There are a few things you need to remember when traveling on a double-decker bus. First of all, make sure you buy your ticket before you board the bus. If you don't, then you will be fined. Also, in some areas, you must stand on the upper deck at all times. If you decide to sit down, you will be fined. You may also find that some bus drivers are not very friendly and may not allow you to sit down. You should always check the local rules and regulations before traveling. The end.